Yo, what is up guys? This is the Brick Doe here. I wanted to talk about the Rolling Stones art set that's going to be set to release here pretty soon. It's set number 31206. It's and a little bit different than what we've come to know for LEGO art sets. So LEGO art sets started, I believe, in August of 2020 with the, the Sith one, LEGO Star Wars. And then we also saw the Marvel one, I think, right around there as well. And since then, we've had about 10 or 11 different uh, mosaic art sets. Uh, I think 11 if you include the world map, which is the largest Lego set by piece count, but many people I think would probably uh, skip over that and in including it uh, for that award. But nevertheless, we uh, they must be doing pretty well and they've been you know coming out over the last two years uh, pretty frequently and we've seen just a, a wide array of IPs. We saw like the Andy Warhol one that was kind of out there. We saw the Elvis Presley one. Um, so it seems like they might be doing decently well. They haven't really intrigued me all that much. Uh, you know, the Harry Potter one a little bit when it first came out, I was like, oh, I might want to get that. And then it just, and then it just never really came, came to mind. I honestly, after a few months it was out, I didn't really feel like I missed out on that. So haven't, haven't really picked up any of these, uh, mostly because it just looks like a lot of the, you know, build is pretty redundant and you have to be, you know, okay, you know, doing that. And then also to the, one of the things uh, with a lot of them is I was like, oh, that the, the if you combine three of them, like for the Lego Star Wars one, I really liked the, uh, you can make that Darth Vader. That was, uh, if you combine three sets and then it's like, well, I'm not going to be spending, you know, 300 something dollars on, on these art uh, mosaics uh, for me personally. So, and same thing with the uh, Hogwarts one too, you can do the big crest. Uh, you know, I wasn't going to buy that many of them. And so a lot of the things that intrigued me about the, uh, the sets uh, didn't really, um, wasn't really in the realm of possibility for me. So, here we have the Rolling Stones one, and I think this is a great direction for Lego art. I think the mosaics are, they just, they're just kind of bland. I mean, if you're really interested in one of the, you know, categories that they, they made them for, I think, you know, it's a decent buy, but I it just feel like it's kind of bland and isn't really a good representation, I would say, of like Lego. And if they're kind of aiming them towards adults, I feel like that would be kind of maybe not the greatest experience at least building experience that they're going to have with it so i think this is a much better direction where you have kind of a, a built out it's not just the mosaic uh, pieces it's tiles it's there's some texture to it and overall i think it would just make for a much build, better uh, build experience and also too i think displayability of this um, is a lot better than the other ones as well you can tell that it's lego but it's not just you know uh just little uh studs you know that's very very noticeable and you can, it just doesn't really seem that unique. This, in my opinion, is is uh, much more unique, has much more displayability and a much better build experience. Now, I'm not a big uh, Rolling Stones fan, but uh, and I'd imagine that this is going to be a pretty niche market. So I'm a little bit surprised about that, them introducing this style of Lego art sets for something uh, like this. Uh, I would, maybe would have expected them to use one of their IPs, like say uh, Star Wars, maybe do like a Jedi one or something like that. But this is the case that it's going to be the Rolling Stones um, uh, sort of iconic logo there. So I, I just I'm sort of curious what you guys think about this, uh, about this new style of Lego art sets. I feel like this is this is the way they should just do all of them moving forward. Uh, I would be surprised if that's the case, but uh, I, this is what I would like to see moving forward from Lego art. I think if there was something like this, uh, you know, Lego Harry Potter or, or Star Wars, I'd be much more intrigued to buy it than just these standard stud mosaics that... Uh, I think many uh, fans and collectors have kind of passed over and, um, you know, it seems like it's just one of those things where you have to kind of really be into that or really dedicated to having that on display, you know, to get sort of that build done uh, overall. But I mean, your guys' thoughts on this, what do you guys think of this new style of Lego art sets? And do you guys hope that they continue this moving forward with the Lego art theme? If you guys are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, guys, this is the Brick Duo signing off.